Between the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act and the upcoming 2022 RE Plus conference in Anaheim, this feels like the busiest time to be in the solar industry, at least until next month or next week. Joining us to discuss it all from top U.S. solar and storage distributor, Baywa RE, this is David Dunlap, Vice President of Product Development, and Scott Snyder from the Account Management Team. Uh, so, David, we'll start with you. A lot has happened in the last week or so that we're chatting today. Um, chiefly, the Inflation Reduction Act was signed by President Biden. This is obviously uh, huge, has, will have a giant impact on the renewable energy industry for decades, um, but especially distributors like Baywa RE and the residential and commercial solar companies you work with. So what do you see as the primary pieces of the IRA for the solar industry? And how will they be impacting your business and the businesses of the solar installers you work with? For Really, for the first time, it's a great combination of incentives and rewards across the spectrum of our industry. And of course, even beyond our industry, there's incentives in here for the electrical vehicle market. There's incentives for HVAC and all manner of energy efficiency. Um, so it's not just solar that's benefiting from this. It's, it's very exciting. We finally have some real longer term stability in terms of the rewards for the homeowner. This generates, uh, you know, or sort of shores up the long term demand. And that's really around the extension of the ITC. It's going to morph and change over time, but having a predictable, steady, you know, return to 30% uh, rebate ongoing for a decade, that's powerful. And then really for the first time, there's ways to increase that, right? There's an extra 10% for domestic content. There's an extra 10% for a number of other categories. So I think it, it tops out at, at 60% potential or 50%. There's, there's quite a number of pieces in there. Now, we don't, all, we don't know yet how all those are going to play out and, and what all the qualifications and rules are. That'll get clarified over time. But that does a lot to increase confidence and 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 ensure that we've got long-term demand but i think equally as important is we've got these really meaningful carrots and incentives for domestic manufacturing um which helps on the supply side and that's uh you know it's a little bit frustrating that it's going to take a while for that supply to start really um ramping up but there's there's certainty around it now and and for years uh, particularly the pv manufacturers have been wanting to invest in the us build factories get uh labor force teed up and there's been there hasn't been that that assurance that the the incentives will be there you know we've had the sticks on the on the import side kind of keeping some of the foreign uh, products out that we we thought were problematic but now we've got the incentives to say domestic manufacturing is where we want our dollars to be let's ramp that up. And so I think over the next um, six months, we're going to hear a lot of news about where that investment is going and start to figure out what the timeline is to see the benefits of it. You know, my gut check is we're going to start having some real benefit toward the end of 2023 and 2024 is going to be huge in terms of when when we actually see that influx of new supply. Super exciting time uh, to be in the solar industry. What is Baywa? looking forward to doing the most are you looking to make any changes potentially to like structure things differently not knowing you know kind of what's in the bill and what things might look like going forward a little bit yes i mean we what we what we're not going to change is that we still want to focus our partnerships um on the the best value and the best resiliency in terms of of the alignment and supporting um, our residential and commercial contractors so understanding how that landscape is going to change which of the big players are shifting around who's going to be making those u.s uh, investments we want to forge those relationships make sure they're strong and and be the primary distribution partner of choice um, so Yes, there might be some changes to the line card, but I think primarily it's still the same philosophy. It's still the same approach. We want to work with best in class manufacturers. We want long term, meaningful uh, partnerships and we want resiliency in our supply chain to to effectively support our installers. Aside from the waves of the IRA, Baywa is making its own waves recently, announcing partnerships with several leading solar equipment brands. 
I just wanted to see if you could give us a quick overview of all the news that you guys have been announcing. We've made this year um, a lot of strategic choices around some new partnerships that we think will have long-term uh, benefits. PV Palette is a great one to, to sort of highlight and talk about because they're doing great things in the sustainability and waste reduction. So this is a recycled and recyclable palette for PV modules. Um, that decreases the chance of damage dramatically in while modules are in transit, particularly for broken manufacturer pallet quantities of things. It's a very useful tool for staging um, projects on the site. An installer can um, spend more time with their labor um, installing product and less time holding it you know, when they break down a pallet. And really, really valuable for um, decommissioning um, and re-roofing kind of projects where you take the installed modules off the roof, where do you put them while you're doing the re-roof or, or some other kind of cleanup? Um, another exciting one is Duracell Power Center. Uh, Duracell obviously is a household brand name um, and them entering the space in uh, really a, a whole home system approach. Um, we're starting with the storage products, but they're adding microinverters, EV charging, um, being able to have an, a complete PV plus storage um, uh, offering from a brand like Duracell, super exciting. We've got a, a, a number of partners that we've been working with prior to the Beacon acquisition. I want to highlight one of those, RoofTech. We've had a longstanding partnership with them and expanding our partnership to a national representation of the brand. Um, they've obviously got um, some great products and some secret sauce out there. So we're really excited to take that beyond kind of a local Northeastern uh, deep relationship to a real national level partnership. Um, another great one is um, Span IO. This is a smart, smart load control panel um, that's getting a lot of attention and press. Um, and um, they've got a, a connected EV charger that goes along with that. Um, but this is really, I think, a cornerstone product around the integration of PV plus storage and energy management. It's a great opportunity to kind of connect the dots there um, at the at sort of the command and control level for the homeowner. We um, have been um, expanding into the EV charging uh, space. We've uh, announced uh, a few, but there's more coming. Um, that's an exciting sort of uh, side uh, piece. It's it's kind of not in the core part of the the solar installer equipment lineup, but it's it's solar adjacent. Absolutely, I'm with you on that last point. I kind of want to stick on it for a second. That solar builder, we've been writing about that trend as well. It kind of transitioning from just solar to thinking more about home energy in, t in total and what that looks like. You know, and what trends are you seeing in the market that you'd like to share there? I mean, yes, I'm seeing some trends in terms of the interest and the conversation, but it's more like we're all kind of identifying this energy management space as the opportunity and we're, we're formulating it. And I think it is about raising the awareness, starting to talk about it. What are those business strategies? I think it's a smart move for an installer to consider multiple revenue streams in their model um, and with all the supply chain challenges we've had, if, if the one thing that you do is starting to be a little bit more challenging to hit 100% of your goals, what's another 10% thing that you can do as a buffer, right? And then if you find that you're really good at it, you have some success, build a strategy around that. I'm not advocating people go really, really broad with what they do. I think it's important to, to have a very clear strategy, but I think there are some great opportunities. And for those that are savvy to... Um, how they can provide real value and benefit from uh, maybe more than just installing a PV generation system, that's a great direction to go. So now I want to turn our attention to the most exciting event of the year, RE+, Plus, which is in Anaheim, California this year. Everyone in the solar industry obviously keeping a close eye on it, uh, even more so uh, with the, you know, the passage of everything that we just talked about. Scott, can you tell us what's going on this year from a Baywa RE perspective? I'm sure you have a lot going on this year. I think first and foremost, everybody's really excited to get there, get around their colleagues again and, and see all the new tech and improvements, uh, things David has mentioned already. I've been to five myself and it's going to be great to see everybody back in person again. One thing that's really important to us um, is we're going to be doing some surveying this year. These events, it's always hard to have uh, the amount of people. We're staffing the booth. We're having meetings with our, our customers, with each other, with our vendors and manufacturers. We really are going to make a concerted effort this year to really hear back from our current customers, installers, and contractors, and maybe ones that we're not working with, um, especially having missed two years worth of opportunities at SPI, now RE+, to really get in touch and get in tune with the people that we're 
um, that we work with. And what about in terms of uh, events and trainings? I know Baywa always has a big lineup of uh, things going on. There's one that Preston Booker will be speaking at in conjunction with Bodhi, talking about the value of adding value with repeat visits and systems, different kinds of add-ons. Um, that'll be a good one to watch. I think there's going to be some some good insights from that. Um, I'll be part of a panel discussion around kind of the future of energy storage, energy management. We'll touch on on some more of this. We're going to be in meeting room 210B, as in boy. Uh, SMA is going to be there for some networking and a lunch at, at um, 12 noon on Tuesday. Wednesday at 10, we're going to have a demo by PV Palette, which David just touched upon. We're going to have a lunch and learn with um, Iron Ridge with a panel talking about finding and retaining the best talent in the industry. And then also on Wednesday is going to be a get to know us by uh, Hanwha Q Cells. A great time to look at their panels, and that's going to be at two o'clock. Scott, that's all well and good. Those trainings sound really great, but I mean, come on, you know, it's like three, three thirty. You know, let's uh, let's get into the the real fun here. What what else does Baywa have planned? Wednesday at the end of the session, starting at three o'clock in the beer garden on the on the main show floor, we're going to be hosting a happy hour, and it's a great opportunity that we've really missed out on the last couple of years to get everybody together, share things we've learned throughout the day. Um, our brains get really full, and it's a it's just nice to be able to talk with our colleagues and and all the things that David talked about that we're going to learn and hear more about over the course of those couple of days. The other happy hour we're involved with is on Tuesday evening that we're co-hosting with Panasonic and their. Booth. Booth. That one starts at 3.30. There's going to be some raffles, some Amazon gift cards coming out. Panasonic's a great partner of Baywaz, and so we're really excited to be working with them to, again, get everybody together and just share the experience. It's cool that we're coming together for this first time in a while, and it's this year after the, the IRA has been signed, and it's like, wow, it's like extra quadruple celebration time, which is like pretty cool. Um, and just anything else? I know you got something else fun up your sleeve. Um, you know, in the past, um, when we've exhibited, we've we've been very fortunate to have um, some relaxation um, capabilities at our place. We've had chair massages in the past. This year, Corey Yerke, one of our account managers, our sales managers, uh, who happens to be a yoga practitioner, is also going to be guiding a yoga class. Um, that'll be on Tuesday morning in our uh, 210B as in boy room, right, for us to get an opportunity to get centered, get our minds right, get clear, and really hop in and enjoy the day. And the first 30 people get a yoga mat, so you can't go wrong there. You'll be able to come back and rest up some more. I think that might be just enough powering forward for the next month or so. So I, I look forward to chatting with both of you at the next busiest and craziest time in the industry following RE Plus as we prep for... 2023 and beyond. So thanks for taking the time, fellas. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for having us.